Здраве на сите! Јас сум Александра и сум наставничка по англиски јазик. Денес ви спремив час за кој што се надевам дека ќе биде интересен, од кој што ќе научите нешто ново или може би ќе се повторите она што ви ќе го знаете. Ова е час кој што е наменет за учениците од петто одделение. Пред се, пред да започнеме, се надевам дека сте добро, дека се чувате, дека седите дома, редовно ми ете раце и дека а, така и ќе остане. Uh, пред да започнеме со часот, само да ви кажам што ќе ви биде потребно. Покрај вашиот компјутер се разбира, ќе ви биде потребна тетрадка и пенкало или молив. Um, пред да кажам, односно да ви упатам, uh, да ви упатам на, на денешниот час и оно што ќе го работиме, сакам што да кажам дека во текот на видеото ќе имате вежби кои што ќе треба да ги одработите, тоа значи дека ќе треба да го запрете видеото во одредени моменти, да исполните задачата, да прочитате или напишите, а потоа да продолжите со следење на часот, односно на видеото. Што изучуваме денес, односно што учиме денес? Денес учиме неправилни форми за компаратив и суперлатив. А бидејќи веќе ги знаете, односно веќе сте ги изучиле компаративните и суперлативните форми, Ние накратко денес ќе ги повториме, ќе ги разгледаме преку конкретни примери. А, меѓутоа главната цел ќе ни биде да се запознаеме со неправилните форми за компаратив и суперлатив, за тоа да знаете како да ги применувате во точна форма во конкретни примери. Мислам дека може да започнеме. First question. What is an adjective? An adjective is a word that describes a noun. I've given you a couple of examples. Here, I'm going to read the examples, and as you can see, the adjectives are marked with red. Please, after I read the examples, please stop the video, read them for yourselves, and then write down in your notebooks three more examples. I think we can start. Beautiful rainbow, delicious pizza, fluffy bunny, happy baby. Silly dragon, tiny ladybug, brave firefighter, shiny mirror, blue shirt, messy bedroom. So now please stop the video and read these out loud. And then write down in your notebooks three more examples. Thank you. Now, as I said, you already no, the comparatives and superlatives, you've studied them. And uh, now I want you to revi revise them with me. First, the comparative form, as you know, is used when we compare two people or things. And here are some examples. Fast, faster. Easy, easier. Big, bigger. Interesting, more interesting. I've also given you a couple of sentences, examples, where these adjectives are used. For example, Tom is faster than Steve. English is easier than German. A tiger is bigger than a cat. Football is more interesting than tennis. Please stop the video and read these examples. Thank you. Next. Let's talk about the superlative form. The superlative form is used when we compare three or more people or things. Here are some examples. High, higher, the highest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. And here are two examples, sentences. Everest is the highest mountain in the world. Michael Jordan is the most famous basketball player in the world. Please. Tap the video and read these out loud. Thank you. The main purpose of this class is to learn about the irregular comparative and superlative adjectives. Some adjectives have separate forms for comparative and superlative, and that's why they are called irregular. Here is a simple table of uh, some irregular adjectives in the comparative and superlative form. Let's read the following list together, shall we? Okay. Bad, worse, the worst. Far, when we talk about distance. Farther, farthest. 
far, when we talk about extent, further, furthest, good, better, best, ill, worse, worst, late, later, latest or last, less, lesser, least, little, when we talk about amount, less, least, many, more, most, much, more, most. Please stop the video and read the following list again. Also, what I want you to do is mark which of these have you heard before. Thank you. These irregular forms are the ones that are most frequently used and I want you to pay attention to this chart, this table actually, and read them again. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Much and many, more, the most. Far, farther, the farthest. Please stop the video and take your notebook, write down these examples. Thank you. For the next part, I want you to do some exercises with me. The first one is two. Complete each sentence by typing the correct comparative or superlative form. Use your notebook and write them down. Here are the examples. Please read them, write them down, and then check your answers. After you've done the exercise, please check your answers. And here are the correct solutions. I'm going to read them. You're looking better now. Has your cold gone? I think the best holiday I ever had was the one in Brazil. The test results are worse than expected. That is definitely the worst game of football I have ever seen. We climbed farther up the hill to get a better view. What is the farthest planet from the sun? Please stop the video and check your answers. For the final part of this lesson, I think it's time to have some fun. I want you to copy this link and play a little game. This link will lead you to a fun game where you will need to create sentences and use the comparative and superlative forms. Thank you for your attention. Please, once again, stay home, wash your hands, and be safe. Bye.